Hi, my name is Steve Goodrow with Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. JavaScript execution in Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Reader. JavaScript execution can be controlled in a variety of ways. The JavaScript engine can be disabled in the product via the UI or the registry. The JavaScript engine can be enabled for only privileged locations via the UI or the registry. Certain APIs can be blacklisted, and some documents can be trusted to run that blacklisted JavaScript via the registry. Global JavaScript object access can be granted or blocked by the UI or the registry. High privilege JavaScript can be blocked or allowed via certified docs or privileged locations. And finally, JavaScript invoked URLs can be blocked or allowed via privileged locations. Let's have a look. JavaScript execution in Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Reader 10. JavaScript execution can be controlled in a variety of ways. First, the JavaScript engine can be disabled in the product. Launch Adobe Acrobat Pro, go to Edit, Preferences, in the Categories pane, select JavaScript, and at the top in the JavaScript section, you can either enable or disable, enable Acrobat JavaScript. You can also do this in the registry. Under H key Current User, Software, Adobe, the product name Adobe Acrobat, the version number 10.0, and the key JS Prefs, and then the entry B enable JS, and the value is 1 for enable. The JavaScript engine can be enabled for only privileged locations. And you can do that in the Acrobat preferences under Enhanced Security. Launch Adobe Acrobat, go to Edit, Preferences. Scroll down to Security, Enhanced. And in the Privileged Locations area, you have the ability to add files, folder path, or hosts for JavaScript to be enabled for files, folders, or hosts. You can also do this in the registry as well. Let's have a look. Here it's located under H key, current user, software, Adobe, the product name Adobe Acrobat, the product version 10.0, and Trust Manager. Here we have C trusted folders. The subfolders are C always trusted for JavaScript, C cross domain, C data injection, C external stream, C JavaScript URL, C script injection, C silent print, C web link. You can also have this setting set in the Adobe Customization Wizard under security. Here you can add a file, folder, or host, and you can set the preference for how it's executed under cross domain, FDF script injection, data injection, elevated JavaScript, external content, silent printing, or web link. You can also get more information about specifying privileged locations in the administrator's information manager under specifying privileged locations. Here we have a general description of the topic, the registry location, and then we have a summary table of 
settings that are available, what they do, and then we have more detail on each item of the registry. Certain APIs can be blacklisted, and some documents can be trusted to run that blacklisted JavaScript. Let's show you how the blacklisted JavaScript works. The location for the JavaScript blacklist setting is under H key local machine, software, policies, Adobe, the product Adobe Acrobat, the product version 10.0, feature lockdown, and JavaScript perms. This is a created key. It doesn't exist normally unless an administrator adds it. The value that's added in here is a text value and the name of that value is T blacklist and this is an example that is taken from the application security guide for util char to byte and app alert and collab.get icon. These are three different methods of JavaScript and these are just examples. But these are also blacklisting. So if you were to attempt to run a JavaScript with any of these three, they would not execute. This is to ensure a way to mitigate certain APIs that have existing vulnerabilities that you want to block. Again, these are just examples and pose no danger at this time. Also, there's a way to run the global JavaScript access to either be granted or blocked. Let's show you in the UI of Adobe Acrobat first. Launch Adobe Acrobat, go to Edit, Preferences, JavaScript in the Categories panel, and in the JavaScript security area, you have the ability to enable Global Object Security Policy, or disable it. There's also a way to do this in the registry. Let's have a look. The key is located under H key current user, software, Adobe, the product name, Adobe Acrobat, the product version, 10.0, JS Prefs. The value we're looking for is B enable global security. And the value here is set to 1, which is enabled. High privilege JavaScript can be blocked or allowed via certified document or privilege location. JavaScript invoked URLs can be blocked or allowed via privileged locations. You can find more information about both of these items under the Application Security Guide and other documents located at http colon forward slash forward slash www.adobe.com forward slash go forward slash learn underscore acr underscore app security underscore e n and here's the application security library thanks and we'll see you again next time